All right, this video is a tutorial or a lecture on polar equations and rectangular equations. So what I'm trying to teach is uh, converting polar equations to rectangular equations and converting rectangular equations to polar equations. So when you're converting uh, e polar equations or rectangular equations, you want to use the relationship of x squared plus y squared equals r squared and you want to use x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. Now here's an example of a polar equation to rectangular equation and the problem is r equals 2 cosine theta. r equals 2 cosine theta is a polar equation so we're trying to get this to be into a rectangular equation so what you have to do is first multiply each side of r multiply each side of r equals 2 cosine theta by r to get r squared equals 2 r cosine theta so the first thing to do is multiply each side by r and then you're going to get r squared equals 2 r cosine theta and then that r squared um, you're going to use substitution and elimination. Now, to eliminate r and theta by making substitutions using r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So you want to plug in x squared plus y squared into r squared. And then plug in x for r cosine theta here. See how the r cosine theta gets replaced by x because x equals r cosine theta. So now x squared plus y squared equals 2x. Then you subtract 2x and then you get x squared minus 2x plus y squared equals 0. And then you want to complete the square. And then you want to do negative 2 divided by 2 and then square that. And then that should be 4 negative 2 squared well, actually negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 and then you square that so that should be plus 1 and then the plus 1 over here and now you can uh, factor this out where you get x minus 1 squared plus y squared equals 1. Now this is the standard form of a circle. And the standard form of a circle is x minus h and then close parentheses h minus h squared plus parentheses y minus k squared. and then the center is the center or the vertex lies at h comma k I almost forgot this part equals r squared and then the radius equals r And then the center for this one is the center for this problem is one comma zero. And then the radius is one.
Okay, let's do another problem here. Okay, let's try to convert a rectangular equation to a polar equation. So we have y equals 3x minus 2. Okay, let's substitute x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So y should be substituted for r cosine theta. And then x should be substituted for x equals r cosine theta. So it should be 3r cosine theta minus 2. And then we want to uh, bring the like term over here. So minus 3r cosine theta and bring that to the left side. Okay, so it should look like r cosine of theta minus 3 r cosine theta equals negative 2. Now what you want to do here is factor out the r. So factor out the r and then in the parentheses you want to include cosine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta and then close the parentheses equals negative 2. And then to solve for r, you have to divide this thing here by cosine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta. You want to divide negative 2 by cosine of theta. Minus 3 cosine of theta. And then r should equal r should equal negative 2 cosine of theta minus 3 cosine of theta and let me close this here that's what so that's how you convert a rectangular equation to a polar equation okay I'm gonna do another example here on the right side of the page here x squared plus y squared equals 9 So for x squared plus y squared equals 9, I can actually uh, use one of the relationship where r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So I can, I can plug in r squared for x squared plus y squared. So r squared equals 9. And then this, I can apply the square root method. So I can get rid of that exponent by the r. So that r should equal square root of 9 plus or minus. And then we all know the square root of 9 is 3. So r equals plus or minus 3. Okay, I'm going to try to do some examples here from another page.
Okay, let's try to convert. Let's try to do a polar equation and convert this to a right angle equation. R equals four cosine theta. R equals four cosine theta. R squared equals four cosine theta because I multiply each side by by R. Okay, so there should be a R here. So I went from R equals four co cosine theta multiplying each side by R. And now for R squared, I can I can substitute it for X squared plus Y squared. equals four and then r cosine theta equals y so i can substitute r cosine theta uh, i mean i can substitute r cosine theta for x so now i can subtract 4x and bring that term over here minus 4x so x squared minus 4x plus y squared equals zero. Now to uh, complete the square, so I'm gonna do this x squared minus four x and I'm gonna draw a line here. That's gonna be our fill in the blank and then close the parentheses here and then plus y squared equals zero. Now negative four divided by two is negative two and then negative two squared. Uh, that should give me plus four. So what's gonna go here is four. plus four, then over here zero plus four on the right side. So, and then you factor this out, you get x minus four squared, and then plus y squared equals four. And then your center is your center is H K. Remember that H comma K. So the center should be the center should be four comma zero. And then your radius should be positive four. Well, actually, your radius should be 2 because 2 squared equals 4. So radius equals 2. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, let's do... Let's do one more example here. Of a rectangular equation to... Uh, Rectangular equation to a polar equation. Y equals two X minus one. So I can plug in I can substitute Y for Y equals R sine theta. So I can do this. R sine theta, substitute that for Y. Equals two R cosine theta. Minus one. You see how I substituted R cosine theta because R cosine theta equals X. 
Now I have to subtract 2 r cosine theta and then you get r sine theta minus 2 r sine theta equals negative 1 Now factor out the r and then put a parentheses sine theta minus 2 sine theta equals negative 1. Close parentheses this. And then you want to divide this part right here and then this part here by sine theta minus 2 sine theta and the negative one gets divided too negative one divided by sine theta minus 2 sine theta And then the final answer should be r equals negative 1 divided by sine theta minus 2 sine theta. And I'm going to put the fraction bar over here. That's the answer. So here is the example we did. And then here's the other example we did. So you guys can go backwards if you want.